So what's up, y'all? All right, so I was off today. I had an errand I had to run. It was on the complete other side of the metro area from where I normally am with for work and whatnot. So it was a drive. I mean, like hour and a half one way. I had to go out there. So I figured I'd make a little bit of an afternoon out of it. Um, so I hit up a couple shops out that way. But before I got out there, um, I had to hit the bank. And there's no, my bank's nowhere near where I live now. <laughs> Used to be. But ever since I moved, no, not so much. I mean, it's near where I work, so it's not that bad. It's fairly convenient. But on days like today, it's not necessarily that convenient. So I had to drive down like 15 minutes down into Ohio. So I had to go south to the bank. Since I was down at the bank, it's like a half a mile to a coin shop down there that I go to quite a bit. So I, I just hit that one up and there was, I was hoping they had something that um, Brian and the twins wanted me to get, which they did. So Brian, score bro. Um, it's gonna be less than what I originally thought because I was able to get it at that shop instead of my pricey shop. Um, so I, I, did, I, did, I did get you. So yeah, congrats. Um, but yeah, then, then I had to go, you know, come on, I had to come back 15 minutes north and then go another like hour and a half. It was a long day, but all right, enough of chit chat. Let's get into it. So this is what I scored from, um, the one in Ohio, which I go to quite a bit. Um, I used to go there a lot more when uh spot was like around 20 bucks, but I don't know. They're kind of pricey, but they're not pricey on certain things so it, it you know so I, I you know i gotta go down there and check out and see what they have obviously because that's just how i roll but um yeah here you go brian and the twins they had two man um and i know these are pretty popular and harder for me to find so i snatched up both so one setting aside for you uh i'll email you or you email me and, and we'll discuss price other one will be available probably auction or I put it in, the, in my stack. I'm not sure. Um, and then uh, they had this bad boy. I always forget where the stupid camera is. Um, SNE Enterprises Incorporated? I don't know. May 7th, 1991. Plant dedication. It's a trade unit, you know. So I know a lot of people will collect the trade units. I like them. I don't have, it. I don't have this one, so proofy finish so I don't, I don't know we'll see keep it put it up i don't know who knows and i have one of these i've i actually had one um and somebody snatched it from me i can't remember who it was uh, but in the original rc on packaging you got the 1989 so yeah if you need it let me know otherwise it'll be around i'll be putting it up since i already have it all right, and then, so that, that wasn't bad. It was a good start. I mean, I went there specifically to see if they had these and maybe something else, but they don't, they never have anything like, you know, Nui or Per, they, they, they just don't usually have that kind of stuff for whatever reason. But anyways, um, so I went north, obviously, and then I, I hit up uh, the sh one of the shops up there and I got some, I got some cool stuff, I think. Let's see what you guys think. So they had two of these, actually. I got both because, I don't know, I haven't seen it. I mean, it's not like I pay a lot of attention to you know, some of this stuff, but I don't know what's right side up because it says when Troy Allen's up there. I'm assuming that's the top. But anyways, maybe not. Um, Republic of Cameroon. So I don't see any date unless it's in that and it's super tiny. So I'm not, oh, it's off the side, okay. So I don't know anything about it, but I thought it was cool. So I grabbed it and I grabbed the other one. That way I can put one in my stack and I can offer the other one up. So <clears throat> I figured why not? <clears throat> and then uh, what else? What else was in there? So they had, they had this bad boy. University of Nebraska Cornhuskers, 1987, go big red. My mom actually, uh, her family's from Nebraska originally, so she's always been a favorite uh, 
Or she's always like the corn Oscars. Let's put it that way. So I don't know. Do I keep it? Do I put it up? I don't know. Are there any people in the community from Nebraska? I don't. I mean, there probably is, but I don't know. No, I don't. I don't recall anyone ever saying it to me. So, but hey, who knows? But uh, yeah. Uh, then 1982, this, this is pretty nice. It's a uh, silver eagle, it says. I, don't, I can't read that. International Limited. Momax? Huh. I don't know. You guys let me know if you know. I have no idea. It's obviously vintage. It's 82. So I love vintage. Vintage is cool. I don't have that one. So I might keep it. It might go up. You guys know me. I like, I, I never know what I'm going to do. Um, got a Granada 2020 with squid on it. Or octopus. Octopus probably. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. Oh, it's got to say Central Bank, huh? <laughs> Might put that one up. <laughs> no, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and then uh, Anguilla, twenty, another twenty twenty with some dolphins. I know there's definitely. Oh, Ike's girl, you watching this? Ike's girl, do you have this? I know you like dolphins. I know you like the the rabbits too. But I mean, come on, you got a dolphin on your sticker. Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. All right, so another one of the same year. I wonder, no, they're two diff uh, different countries, I guess, even though they're both uh, Eastern Caribbean. I don't know. I know nothing about them. I just thought they were cool. And I hadn't seen them, and I ain't going to leave them there for somebody else to get them. And when's the next time I'm going to ever be back over on that side of town? I have no idea. So they had this, too. Um Great Wave? Oh, I can't make out that. Is it Hawaiian? Or Ho Ho Hokia? I don't know, man. I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, Fuji. Or Fiji. My bad. What am I saying? Fuji. That's crazy. Fiji. 2017. That's nice, though. That's cool. And then they had uh, the Gorilla. And I figured, you know, why not? So, um, the Congo Silverback Gorilla. So, I don't think this, this is fairly new too, right? I don't recall the Congo. Was there a date on this? 2020. Yeah, okay. So, they had a lot of 2020 stuff, it seems like. That's interesting, right? All right. And then the last but not least, I bought, I, I snatched up that stuff and then I was leaving. There was something I saw when I walked in that caught my eye. So I just asked them, like, I pretty much, I mean, you can see right there, two, four, six, eight ounces, right? So I wasn't necessarily planning on buying eight there because I want to make sure I had enough money for, for the next shot. But I, I just asked them, I figured it was going to be too pricey and... I wasn't going to buy it, but he, uh, it, it ended up being reasonable. So I bought it. So there you go. The official re restrike of the Shep sh sh Shilling. Ah, man, dude, guys, I, English is like my word. So I'm just spelling and whatnot, pronoun pronunciation. I'm a math guy. But look, it's silver. I even said to the guy, I'm like, is this really silver? It says silver. But, um, yeah, I, there you go right there. Silver, triple nine. <laughs> One Troy ounce, man. 1,000 stucks. So, obviously, this is in another language. Um, I don't know what language. Netherlands? Yeah, Netherlands. Interesting. I, I didn't see that before. Um, but, yeah, that's the... Oh, see, there you go. There's the English. I didn't see this when I was there. I didn't flip it over. Yeah, it's silver. <laughs> it's not silver. It's silver. But yeah, so here you go. It came. I'll show you how it came. It came in this tin. 
And I know there's a lot of people in the community that collect the boats. And dude, that's, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this. I mean, maybe this, maybe this was around the community before I got in the community and now nobody has one. I don't, whatever, man. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's special. I don't really know. I haven't looked it up. I literally just got home a little bit ago, jumped in a SB30 stream. Speaking of which, Silver Bull, if you are watching this, you should continue to watch this because the last shot, oh my God, bro. Wait till you see what I got at the last shot. All right, so 2021. I think it's cool, man. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, that's, it's proofy. And that boat is sick, I think. The detail is, is nice. Um, so yeah, that would be interesting to see what I do with that. Do I keep that? Do I put that up? Maybe I race it. I don't even know what stream I do that on to capture all the, the you know, I'm sure like Sailor, there's a few other people definitely into the boat. All right, so um, uh, I shouldn't actually, I'm not going to show the name of the shop. I don't want to give it away in case. <laughs> yeah, there's a few people in Michigan up that way, and I'm sure they know the shop, but I don't want to let them know exactly where I got. This was, they, they gave me this bag, man. I mean, that's cool, right? I mean, I, I'm feeling in there. I think it's like around eight ounces I got from them as well. I got nine over here, right? Because I got the tin, as, tin one as well. Um, but yeah, this dude, it literally tapped me. I had $15 cash left in my pocket when I left. And I was not, I was not planning on spending everything in my pocket. Man. <laughs> but I did because I couldn't believe what they had. And they had some good pricing. So I, I actually almost wish that I didn't buy all that stuff. At least maybe not two of that one. Because that would have freed up a little bit more money to buy one more thing over here. But regardless, it's still that's some cool stuff. So it's diversifying. It's all good. I can go back to this shop. I mean, he had this. I had asked for this stuff. This stuff was not out front. I specifically asked for specific mitts. Um, and then he went in the back and he was gone like 15, 20 minutes, dude. And then he came back with a pile of some stuff. Uh, I wish he would have actually brought back more stuff, but maybe it's better that I, <laughs> I probably would end up <laughs> trying to find a bank nearby, <laughs> which would not have been good. I mean, should not be buying guys, but I, you know, I was out there and I had to check out these new shops and I just have a hard time not buying if I got cash. Um, so yeah, you're the goat. I don't have it. It's cool, man. I mean, that's reverse proof on the back. It's it's nice, man. 2015, I have a little reverse proof period. But yeah, so pick that up. And then um, I'm going to hold off a couple of these till the end for suspense. Oh, yeah, it's going to get nuts. Wait till you see what's coming up. And then, so yeah, another they had the year of the dog with the uh, lion. I think that's a lion privy. That's that's tight. 2018. So that's like, dude, that's two right there in the in the set, right? And then boom. Year of the monkey. Now somebody was asking me about another monkey coin I had that I got rid of. Um, well, I didn't. I mean, somebody bought it from me at an auction or whatever. Um, they asked me if I had another and I didn't. I'm looking for it. I haven't seen it. Um, but you've got that monkey right i think that's a monkey i'm pretty sure but now you got this monkey 2016 so that's cool you've got 15 16 and 18 so next time i go back i'm gonna i'm gonna try to fill it all right to that shop because chances are he's got three of these because i asked him something and he's like he's like oh i just grabbed what i thought looked cool you know from that mint you know, I asked specifically for one thing, and I'll show you that in a minute, but he thought this was something else. I don't even know if he knows what he had. They probably just make whatever percentage and flip the stuff. But they had a lot of silver, man. I mean, like, in the display, there wasn't that much, but, like, behind the count, you know, behind the display, like, on the wall, there was a shelf just, dude, it... There were so many like 10 ounce and 100 gram and just like insane bars. 
I didn't even look at the bars, guys. I couldn't do it. You know, I didn't have enough money to look at the bars. But look at that. A wedge tail. Dude, 2018. I I was talking to Tony Tutone about this. About what the wedge tail. How big of a rabbit hole am I going to get into if I start collecting these? Because I really dig these. And I had one and I sold it. And I'm pissed that I did it. And I, because I didn't really think, I didn't, I, I don't know. I've seen a few since then. And I, I really like this, this coin. But yeah, the rabbit hole, that's my question. Because I know these are pricey as well and on fire right now. I mean, it's Australian. So is it as bad as the, like the kooks? Is it worse than the kook? Like when do they start making the wedge tail? And you know, like I said, how, <laughs> how deep a rabbit hole am I getting into, man? If I collect them, should I just sell it instead of collecting it? I need to know, you guys help me out. Somebody let me know in comments if you know, and boom, there you go. Silver bowl. I don't know which ones you have and which ones you need. I know there's other people like Lee Fleming that collect these. Um, obviously, I know you guys need specific years, but I, you know, I'll i keep them. I have no problem. I'll put them up. You know, because this is a huge rabbit hole too. Uh, and it's an expensive rabbit hole to get certain years is what I've been told. And I'm sure that's the fact. But And I actually sold all those 2015s. I didn't keep myself one. I'm so annoyed at myself for doing that. Um, why did I do that? It, it was an error on my part. I way more organized now. <laughs> so I I won't do that again. But there's 2009. I don't have this 93. So I may keep that. But like I said, you know, like somebody like SV30 that needs it. Different story. I'm not just going to blindly probably put it up. Um, let me know if you need any of them and then we can talk. But. You know, unless somebody needs it to fill a hole in their collection, I'm probably going to keep them. Um, they got a 2000. Yeah, it's, it's kook central, man. It is kook central. I'm going back, guys. I don't know how quick, how soon I can go back because I, you know, I'm going to want, I want to go back with like a, a crap ton of money and have him pull out like almost everything he has. I want to get in the back. I know that's not going to happen, but <laughs> I literally want to see, I want to stay there all day and see everything he has, and then and then buy it appropriately. Um, 2004. I mean, I bought every coupe that he brought up from the back. He thought the wedge tail was a coupe, man. That's what's hilarious. He, he, you know, that's funny to me. Like, I haven't, I haven't been collecting, like, coupes and stuff for very long, but I, I can tell a wedge tail from a coupe looking at it, so... And there you go, 2018. I don't have any of these, y'all. I think there was, I, I lied. There, I think he did bring up a 16 kook. But I have one. I've sold several of them. I don't, I don't really think the community needs a 2016 kook. So I didn't buy it. Um, so, yeah. Some of these are really nice. I dig them. So, yeah. Four, no, five kook. <laughs> Four Kookaburros, a wedge tail, and three of the Euros. And then that other that other one with the tin and that stuff. I mean, I, I bought too much, guys. I have a problem. Two, four, six, eight, plus the nine, 17, 21 ounces. I, yeah, I, I should not have bought 21 ounces today. <laughs> but I did. So I will be definitely up on some streams to sell some stuff to pay for my problem that I have because I still have some bills that I, I need to pay in like a week. And uh, it, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. So I probably should sell some stuff. I got a lot of cool stuff though, you guys have seen. Um, whether or not any of this goes up, I don't know, I have to think about it. Um, but anyways, that being said, SGT, um, I think is doing a live auction on Saturday. I'll probably jump up on that as long as I'm available. He, he's cool. He'll let me up. I know he will. Um, Crumpler has open panel on Thursday. I'll probably try to jump on that. Um, and then I think what Wednesday, I think they do the mid uh, week uh, flea market. 
Um, so I'll jump up on that probably too. I'd love to get on some stream and run a couple of races. I think I got some killer stuff for races, but you know, I know some, there's definitely, there's people that like the race and there's people that don't like the race. I race a little, I buy more in auctions, um, but it's a, it's fun to do the races. Um, assuming that you got the crowd that's interested in races, you know, you don't want to try to force anybody to do anything. They don't, I don't think anybody would do anything they don't want to do, but you know what I'm saying? Um, all right, that being said, I'm rambling. It's been over 20 minutes. Maybe I'll edit out the end. <laughs> so I'll wrap it up a little bit different. Be like, we'll just uh, pause. All right, thanks, y'all. Appreciate you taking your time uh, to watch my video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good jazz. I'll see y'all around in some streams. Later.